Hey, it's Rob Hefner for Talk of the Town, and this is a special edition, uh, also on Celebrate. So for all listeners out there, this is incredibly important information. It's in regard to our safety of our forest. Yeah, we're going to be moving into something called Stage 1. Going to have a discussion here with uh, Officer Haas with the Pine Top Lakeside Police Department. How are you? Fabulous. How are you today? Good. So you do police services. And one of the things that the police services has to do with, even though this is fire, is the enforcement of red flag and then also stage one uh, restrictions. So first of all, let's start with red flag. What's the red flag? So red flag is a cautionary advisory. It is saying that the relative humidity is askew along with the wind. So there's a high probability of fires could start that day. So that's why you'll see a lot of times at any of the forest service outposts, they'll put a red flag up on the, I'm sure everybody seen this sign that today's fire warning is this. They Bad. usually hang a red flag on it. In addition to almost all municipalities and localities, put it out on any of their prospective social media pages, along with National Weather Service at a Flagstaff. They'll yeah. usually put it out. So the National Weather Service is actually the one that issues the red flag warning. And uh, they, they send it out. And basically, we give them a bunch of activities. We give a bunch of activities that we don't want you to do. Correct. Okay. And those include keeping campfires out there when you're out camping, things like that, because it can blow out, blow a few cinders and just a few cinders. You know, um, the last couple of weeks, we've had a couple campfires that just got out of control. And that's what's been our brush fires. So unfortunately, human error is a lot of fire starts. So yes. We want to make sure we take the human error out of the equation. And thanks to a lot of, uh, uh, I want to say people that just want to argue issues or argue verbiage on YouTube. Uh, you've got these people that want to argue absolutely little, every single little detail about things. The verbiage for red flag warnings is activities not recommended. Correct. Okay. And okay, so maybe it's not specifically against the law, but if you're doing something that's going to endanger things and you're asked to stop, then you break a law, right? Correct. There is there's a lawful order. So a lot of times if we're you're doing something extremely unsafe and we can't it's going to cause a fire or it does cause a fire, you will get charged and you don't want to do that. Don't don't be that guy. This this is all of our home. We don't want it to burn down. Yeah. And even though you're doing something that's just not recommended, and I'm doing air quotes just so you can understand this, right? Uh, and it's not illegal specifically or prohibited, it cause a fire in Arizona, you're liable for the damage caused by that fire. It, correct. Absolutely. And we all take it very seriously because most of us live up here. You know, the both fire marshals, we're all on the same page. We all meet regularly together, both Pine Top, Forest Service and Timber Mesa Fire District to make sure the best plans are in place. And all of our... ARS codes and local codes will all reflect the same thing. Yeah. So don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tomorrow, uh, this is coming out Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday, we're going into stage one fire restrictions. So give us a detail on that. What does that mean? Correct. So yeah, Thursday at 6 p.m., fire restrictions will go live. Um, the short version of it is, is you can't have any kind of fires outside of designated areas. So you, it, we're not saying you can't have fires. We're can't, not saying you can't cook your food, but it needs to be in a fire pit. It needs to be in a grill. It needs to be somewhere there. Don't just go build you a little fire pit randomly in the forest. Yeah. And I want to make sure you understand what a designated area is. It's right. not an area where people have always used a fire pit in the forest and they have set up, a, it's actually someone that has set it up in a campground. Correct. So it's usually concrete with a metal ring those kind of places. Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's a cleared location. There's set rules on it, which you can find on the town's website. There will be all give you the code before we leave today so that way it shows because it there's a space amount that has to be cleared that's what's a designated pit and then on top of that we crack down really hard on smoking no smoking in public places you can't be walking down the sidewalk no tossing it out your window as you're driving by you need to either be in a designated smoking area and designated smoking areas are all cleared of debris flammable debris or inside a vehicle or inside a structure yeah exactly and you know you don't want to be the person that that's arguing honestly just just don't do it like you know don't if you don't have to do it if there's no life reason that you need to do this it's the entertainment purposes moot if you burn down the forest correct you know and we've we've already seen the forest in the aftermath of it multiple times throughout the year you know the wall of fire the rodeo chetta sky the cedar most recently you know let's Let's not be in that situation again. Let's do all of our part together to ensure the safety of our home. Okay, let's talk about some of the things that, that you shouldn't be doing that might not 
specifically be spelled out by the law, but also that cause and cause fires here recently here in Arizona. Yeah. So one of the big things I've seen a lot lately of is dragging things on your vehicles. Make sure you check your equipment before you go driving down the road, especially given the state of our roads right now since all the snow plowing. Yeah. Um, check your chains, check anything. I've seen some license plates that are falling off, dragging and flicking up sparks as we're driving down the 260. I've seen a lot of dragging chains. Check your equipment. Do a little 360 on your vehicle before you leave your house just to make sure that we're not dragging anything and going to spark fires inadvertently. Same thing, you know, if you're chainsawing or cleaning up your property, watch out, make sure everything's in good working condition, you know, make sure we're not blowing anything or all the spark arresters are working as they should be. Right. Um, Make sure you're being safe if you're going to burn because a lot of people like to burn up weeds right now and clean up. Make sure you're getting the burn permits from the local fire departments, each of them, and they'll give you a set list of when it's okay to burn things like that, when it's not okay to burn. That way we're all being safe and we're all in this together. Yeah. Another thing I want to point out is is if something happens to your car or you see something on the side of the road you want to take pictures of and you're going to pull your car off to the side of the road, do not pull off into an area that's grassy or has weeds or things like that. You pull off into something that's completely gravel. That has literally started huge fires here in Arizona. It has. And on that same note, I want the um, OHVs, you know, make sure because right now is off-road season. Uh, make sure when you're going out with your quads, your side-by-sides, you're watching for the same things. Don't be going through a giant pile of dead brush with your four-wheeler. Yeah. Stay you on know. some trails. And the obvious, you know, you mentioned spark arresters, but you don't go out there with your little flamethrower to get rid of weeds. You, you don't go out there with a settling torch and decide to start welding or doing something cutting <laughs> or things like that. That's not the time to do this right now. Uh, especially when there's 30 mile per hour winds. Yeah. That's really not the time. But even if there aren't winds during stage one, don't do it. It's D- not, not permitted. Don't do it. You'll know if you're doing something wrong because we'll all show up for a fire check. Okay. If you have a question of whether or not you should do this or not, here's the easy answer. Don't. <laughs> and, and if you and if you really have a question or you have a neighbor that's quest- doing something questioning, any of us have open door policies. Feel free to contact myself. You feel free to contact Fire Marshal Berlin from Pine Top. You can contact Fire Marshal Russell from Timber. Even the Forest Service, they all have tons of knowledgeable staff members over there. Officer Brady, they will help you to the best of their abilities and answer any questions because we always all prefer to answer questions up front before we have to go put out the fire later. Yeah. And the only reason I mention it is if you really think you shouldn't be doing it, don't do it. it it's This is not the time to... Because if everybody calls in to ask every little thing to get down to the line of what, what's right. allowed, what's not it just don't do it and yeah. uh, save our forest. And if you have a bad feeling about it and you feel like you probably shouldn't do it, like I said, don't do it. Very good. Anything else? No, sir. I think that'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Once again, that is Officer Haas, Police Services with Pine Top Lakeside Police Department. This is Talk of the Town. All the information down below... Be safe out there and be good. 